Okay, I'm back. Um, so yeah, the camera abruptly shut off. And I know why now. If you look at the duration of the video, it is 11.9. It breaks, it's like 29 minutes and nine seconds or something like that. Um, so that was them stopping it there precisely, you know, for a reason. Now, I recorded another video after I recorded the Muhammad Ali video last night. There's some more Muhammad Ali in it. And then it goes into, I was led to look up uh, Louis the 13th. And that led me to this paradise on earth. That was what they called it in what I read. I think that's Eden. This morning when I was getting the messages about cancer, 69 is cancer. I was also hearing Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Cancer. So I have to go over that too. Um, and that's one of these points. It's a point on the earth where the sun shines directly. So I think maybe the S-O-N may shine directly there um, or is right now. I'm not sure, but I have to go over that. But last night after I finished recording that video, um, I could have done more and I didn't. I decided to chill out. And I laid down on my bed and I put on my TV and I opened my window because I usually close the window so that there's like no... There's enough sounds and things that go on, white noise and foolishness that goes on with my videos so that you can't hear me and I can't, you know, an attempt to prevent me from getting you the message. So I close my window when I record. Um, so none of that seeps in as well. But I open my window and I hear Jeremiah, birthday sex. And not the whole song, just, girl, you know I... I've been fiending, and my twin used to always say that to me. I'm fiending, I'm fiending. Um, woke up in the late night, been dreaming about you. And I said, oh, birthday sex. So I think I was right about those babies. Like around the time of my birthday, mid-June, a lot, many of you will conceive, perhaps some of you that are, have but begun adoption processes will those will be finalized in March, uh, like these babies that will be conceived will be born like Jesus was born. These new Christ ch children, children of Christ consciousness, pure souls will be born in March if they're conceived in June or <clears throat> around my birthday, mid-June. Um, so I went there and then on came my whole life has changed genuine so I said okay I got to do birthday sex I got to do my life my whole life has changed and then came poison by BBD and yesterday in the daytime when I was driving somewhere with my girls my daughter had said the older one remember that time you stopped the car on the FDR drive and got out and went off on those people and then you got back in and landed right back on the right part of Poison. I had been singing Poison. Poison was on the radio. And I had been singing it. And there was traffic. But the way this guy cut me off, we could have still had an accident. He could have still fucked up my car. So I put that shit in park. I got out. I went over to his car. I don't remember what I said to him. But I got back in the car when I was done. And I was right back on tune. Picked up the song, you know, right where it was. And my daughter was like, you're scary. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I'm like, I have to do Poison, too. And I remembered, I recalled um, Freaknik. During Freaknik, I had gone to this club in Atlanta or Virginia Beach. I don't remember. I was thinking first Atlanta, so it was probably Atlanta. And this guy, we were standing outside. We hadn't gone in yet. This guy came over to me 
singing that, that I was driving him out of his mind. Um, anyway, so that made me think I got to do that one too, poison. But so then this morning I went out after I did that piece of video. And let me tell you, Osiris wanted that video up so badly that it uploaded. First of all, I had to take it out of my camera. I put it in, it like zoom onto the computer. And then I had to make it a movie in Movie Maker. That was fast. As I went and like brushed my teeth and brushed my hair to drop my daughter off somewhere, I came back, it was done. I was like, I knew it. I had a feeling he wanted me to put this up before we left. So I uploaded to YouTube or I stopped that process. It goes zoom. It from zero to a hundred real quick. It was uploaded. And then it had begun processing already. And I was like, wow, this thing is going to be like completely up within the next few minutes. I didn't even take the time to like label it properly. I just like tagged all of my, I put it in moons, moon phases. I put it in specials. I put it in the daily. I put it, you know, the different categories I have there in the quote unquote library. Um, and I left. After I dropped off my daughter, something said, see where my son is. Cause he had to work today and he works. I dropped my daughter off in the Flatiron district. So that may, I'm telling you Flatiron because that may have something to do with something. Um, and my son was in Chelsea. So again, Chelsea means seaport. The Flatiron district is sort of from the middle to the east in the 20s and maybe 20s, 30s, like, you know, and Chelsea is on the west side, like maybe like 17th street to perhaps like 29th street, really. Um, so I was like, I'm not that far from him. Let me text him and see if he wants me to give him a ride home. He wasn't getting out for another hour. And I was like, I'll wait. I even saw him coming back from lunch. He was like, you seriously sitting here? I'm like, yeah, the time is going, it went really fast, just like everything else. Um, but as I was driving there, birthday sex comes on the radio. Now, I haven't heard this song in forever until last night when I heard that one piece. And then, you know, I get to hear the whole song just about today. So I'm like, okay, they really want me to do birthday sex. And then when I got home, so fast forward to that, I said, oh, shit, Jeremiah, the prophet, Jeremiah 29. So let me do that first before I go back to the other thing. Okay, Jeremiah 29, a letter to the exiles. This is the text of the letter that the prophet Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem to the surviving, surviving elders among the exiles and to the priests, the prophets, and all of the other people Nebuchadnezzar had carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. This was after King Jehochin, J-E-H-O-I-A-C-H-I-N, which reminds me of Joaquin, J-O-A-Q-U-I-N. So maybe this is another way, another spelling for Joaquin. And the queen mother. So this was the king, Jehoiachin, and the queen mother, the court officials and the leaders of Judah. So I was talking about the Lion of Judah very recently. I said, oh, the Lion of Judah, that's Haile Selassie. He's the Lion of Judah. He's who they call the Lion of Judah. Um, anyway, and Jerusalem, the skilled workers and the artisans had gone into exile from Jerusalem. He entrusted the letter to Elisha. So this is another spelling of Elijah, E-L-A-S-A-H, son of Shaphan, looks kind of like Stephen. S-H-A-P 
H A N. So it looks like Stephen, with it's with the exception of the H, you know, if that was a T. And to Jamaria, G E M A R I A H, son of Hilika. Wait, H I L K Hilkiya, H I L K I A H, whom. Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent to King Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. It said, so this is the actual passage, and this is 29.4, where it begins. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also seek the peace, P-E-A-C-E, in prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. So this is to us. This is to the first to go to the next dimension, so to speak. The first to go to the quote unquote new world. This is saying when you get there, you are, you are my children that have been exiled. You are my, my meek, remember? That's who inherit, inherit, inherit. You are my meek, my pure of heart, right? This is what he's saying. And so I'm exiling you to this paradise place. Treat it kindly. Take care of it. Don't do what those other people did. Okay. Um, also seek the peace and the prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it because it prospers. You too will prosper. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to, ha you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. And this is what he's been telling me to tell you all week. And I told you he's getting angry. He's getting angry. These fake readers and fake teachers that have thousands of, of um, divine unions in their hands. Oh, goodness. Um... Pray to the Lord for it because it prospers. You too will prosper. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, so 70 years, 1946, if it's 2016, I guess 1947, if it's 2017, when the new world is supposed to be ready, like really ready. Either way, that's 111. If it's 2012, when a lot of this started, 1942. In any case, I'm thinking World War One. World War One. I think that's what he's upset about here. Um, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope for the hope and a future. So I've told you that I have been told and I believe God because he is not the liar. We know who the liar is that all who receive it all who believe it will receive it and will survive this um then you will call on me and come and pray to me and i will listen to you you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart i will be found by you declares the lord and will bring you back from captivity i will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. You may say, the Lord has raised up prophets for us in Babylon, 
But this is what the Lord says about the king who sits on David's throne and all the people who remain in this city. Your fellow citizens who did not go with you into exile. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I will send the sword. That's Archangel Michael. Famine and plague against them. And I will make them like figs that are so bad they cannot be eaten. I will pursue them with the sword, famine and plague. And will make them abhorrent to all the kingdoms of the earth. A curse and an object of horror, of scorn and reproach among all the nations where I drive them. And this is number 19, maybe, so maybe that's significant. This is um, 2919. For they have not listened to my words, declares the Lord, words that I sent to them again and again by my servants and the prophets. And you exiles have not listened either, declares the Lord. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord, all you exiles whom I've sent away from Jerusalem to Babylon. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says about Ahab, son of Koliah, K-O-L-A-I-A-H, Kolaia, reminds me kind of like koala bear, and Zed. Zedekiah, Z-E-D-E-K-I-A-H, son of Masiah, M-A-A-S-E-I-A-H, who are prophesying lies to you in my name. I will deliver them into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he will put them to death before your eyes. This is line number 22, so this may be extra significant as well. Because of them, all the exiles from Judah who are in Babylon will use this curse. May the Lord treat you like Zedekiah and Ahab. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I kept talking about Captain Ahab. I kept saying that line from Moby Dick that I can't even think of now. Oh, yeah, this is all coming together. Okay, uh, may the Lord treat you like Zedekiah and Ahab whom the king of Babylon burned in the fire for they have not, they have done outrageous things in Israel. They have committed adultery. They have done outrageous things in Israel. They have committed adultery with their neighbor's wives. And in my name, they have uttered lies, which I did not authorize. I know it and am witness to it declares the Lord. So that was Jeremiah 29 which I don't think I was guided to accidentally through Jeremiah, the R&B singer and birthday sex. And I don't think birthday sex is, I think birthday sex is literal as well. <laughs> um, and not just for me. So let me do that song now. I promise to still get back to Lilith and to get to the Tropic of Cancer as well. It's your birthday, so I know you want to ride out. Even if we only go to my house, sit mo easy, so moet, but it's M O, again, Muhammad, dash easy, like easy E. As we sit upon my couch, feels good, but I know you want to cry out. You say you want passion. I think you found it. Get ready for action. Don't be astounded. We switch in positions. You feel surrounded. Tell me where you want your gift, girl. Girl, you know, I, I, I. So it's three eyes with a hyphen separating them. Girl, you know, I, I, I. I've been fiending. Wake up in the late night. Been dreaming about your loving girl. Girl, you know, I, I, I. Girl, you know, I, I, I. Don't need candles or cake. Just need your body to make you. Birthday sex, birthday sex. It's the best day of the year, girl. Birthday sex, birthday sex. If he's, 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 so three times, let me hit that G spot, G spot, girl. 
See you sexy in them jeans got me on 10. One, two, three. Think I got you pinned. So there's like a wrestling reference there. Wrestling keeps coming up. Uh, don't tap out. Fight until the end. We tap out in boxing too, you know. So this is another nod to that king, I believe. And especially since Mo was at the beginning. This is another nod to Muhammad Ali. Don't tap out. Fight until the end. Ring that bell and we're going to start over again. We grinding with passion because it's your birthday. Been at it for hours. I know you thirsty. And I always get like, I need some water. I need some water. Sometimes I'll, I'll run like to my car to get bottled water instead of, you know, drinking uh, tap water. You kiss me so sweetly. Taste just like Hershey's. Just tell me how you want your gift, girl. Girl, you know I, I, I. Girl, you know I, I, I. I've been fiending. Wake up in the late night. Been dreaming about your loving, girl. And then he goes back on to that. More chorus. Don't need candles or cake. Just need your body to make you birthday sex. And then that chorus. And the next verse is, first I'm going to take a dive into the deep the water deep until i know i please that body body oh girl without a broom i might just sweep you off your feet and make you want to tell somebody body how i do or maybe we can float on top of my waterbed you close your eyes as i improv between your legs we work our way from kitchen stoves and tables Girl, you know I'm more than able to please, yeah. You say you wanted flowers on the bed, but you got me in hours on the bed. And he goes back into the chorus. Okay, and that's it for that one. So, again, I believe that that means that as the cards have been telling me, many of you will um, conceive or inseminate <laughs> um, your divine partner next week so that those babies can be born in March. And again, that I believe it would go for adoptees too because I've been made to start talking about adoptees and I've brought them up several times. So I think maybe some processes will begin um, now and, and end by or in March, or perhaps just in March, um, there'll be some sort of means of... Notice for the first time ever that the name of the building was Reed, R-E-E-D, like, uh, like bamboo, you know, Reed. Um, so anyway, they, they, the, the numbers decline by twos, odd numbers, as they should. Then all of a sudden, it goes from 161 to the building immediately you know, adjacent, attached even, is number 157. And I'm like, 157, 13? Because just because I thought it was so strange that they skipped so many numbers in between. And I'm like, 13, Louis 13, then it's all on me, you know. And I'm like, oh, bitch better have my money. Somebody there owes, has a debt to pay. Somebody surrounding Louis 13. And I was on William Street. I was like, maybe somebody named William has something to do with this as well. So I go, come home, I look up Louis the 13th, and just in case that video is missing, if you guys wanna look up some of this stuff too, I look up Louis the 13th, I was led to look up an Albert Du, Albert, I think it was Albert Du something, D-U, A-L-B-E-R-T-D-U something. I looked up Cavaliers again, which I had gone over before, which are the people that, you know, which are like the equivalent of so-called white supremacists, you know, people that think they're better than everyone else. That's what these Cavaliers were. Um, I looked up that, and then I looked up another, looked up another Albert that had been Albert, something having to do with Savoy, and I think King of, Sardinia, like sardines, S-A-R-D-I-N-I-A. And all of these people, 
Louis the Thirteenth and Albert and Albert, both Alberts, the Cavaliers, all these people tied into Louis the Fourth. And again, somehow I got led to this place in the Middle East that's made up of a bunch of quadrangles, buildings in the shape of quadrangles that are attached. So like a whole bunch of diamonds, essentially, connected. And it's supposed to be like a paradise on earth. I think that's Eden. But today in doing this stuff, because it was 12 that led me to I, 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 or three in the three, six, nine, I said, oh, let me look up Louis the 12th too. And I did. I don't remember too much about him, but one thing that I did take note of, either him himself or somebody connected to him was part of the order of St. Michael, as in Archangel Michael. And so I intended to go back and read up on him some more, or at least with you guys, if not by myself, and then I left the house. So I haven't done that yet. So I just want that out there in case that other video has to be redone and I leave something out or something like that. Okay, now I'll go on to, I started to say I would go on to what we were talking about before with the Lilith moon, the dark moon. But then I thought about Archangel Jeremiah. So not just the prophet Jeremiah, but Archangel Jeremiah, the one that's on the renewal card in the angel tarot. So I looked him up. Archangel Jeremiah in the Judaic, also known as Ramiel or Rimiel, R-A-M-I-E-L or R-A, R-A-M-I-E-L or R-E-M-I-E-L. Jeremiah's name means mercy of God. In ancient Judaic texts, Jeremiah is listed as one of the seven core archangels. So not just four, but seven or together 11 maybe. He's also associated with helping Baruch and Baruch is on 23rd Street, both the lower school, the high school and the university. I was made to stop and look at Baruch the other day and around there was this bus stop that had all these buses to Staten Island and Staten Island was represented by an X. So it was like the X-22, the X-43, like it was all our numbers, the X-6, the X-7, like that type of thing. Um, but I don't remember what I, what I took note of with regard to Baruch. I'll have to go back over there and check it out. Um, so he's also associated with helping Baruch, a prolific author of apocryphal, so like apocalypse, A-P-O-C-R-Y-P. It's apocryphal. But before I go any further, God is telling me to tell you some stuff. Okay, so about the... Um, they have slept with their neighbor's wives. That's not literal. Well, it is and it isn't. It's like their neighbors to the east, like as in Africa, Asia, the slave women. They have slept with them and they weren't supposed to. They have raped these women and they weren't supposed to. That's what he means by that. Um... Perhaps even the, the, the Jews that were taken going back to World War I. And there, were, there's a, there was a black holocaust at the same time too in Germany, for those who don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to go over that as well, because that just came to mind. Um, there was something else I was supposed to tell you like now when I was, I was trying to read this Archangel Jeremiah thing. Oh boy. All right, let me go out back to Archangel Jeremiah. Um, I was up to apocryphal. Apocryphal, where is that? I don't know. Oh, I see it. Okay, he is... He's also associated with helping Baruch, a prolific author of apocryphal Judaic texts in the first century AD with, this prophetic, with his prophetic visions. One vision catalyzed by Jeremiah was of the coming Messiah. In another vision, Jeremiah took Baruch's, 
to Farouk for a tour of the different levels of heaven. Okay, so this is kind of happening again because now I'm being told to tell you about these coming messiahs, so to speak, these children with Christ consciousness. Okay, um, in addition to being an archangel of prophetic visions, Jeremiah helps newly crossed over souls renew, review their lives. This is a service he helps the still living with too. So he's helping us with that now. I told you, you have to go over your past lives too. You have to repent for your past lives. Ask that, you know, they be collapsed and cleared across all dimensions of time, you know, space, time, consciousness, all existence. If you'd like it, if you'd like to take an inventory of your life up till now so that you can make positive adjustments, call upon Jeremiah. He will help you fearlessly assess your history and learn from prior experience so that you're even stronger and more centered in love in the future. He helps with clairvoyance and prophetic visions, life reviews and making life changes, psychic dreams, including their interpretations. And there's an invocation that we can make to Archangel Jeremiah for that help. Archangel Jeremiah, please help me release fears, worries, and tensions about my future and the future of the world. Tell Jeremiah about any situation that is weighing particularly on your mind. I ask for your prophetic insights about the future. Please clearly give me guidance about anything that I may do or change to create the highest and best future for myself and all concerned. Thank you. And I would say thank you, thank you, thank you. I told you when we repeat, it gives emphasis and tells the archangels, tells the higher beings of light, you know, how very intent upon these things we are. Now, oh, I remember the other thing, and I was just about to go into it without connecting it. If you're wondering, you know, how am I to impregnate or to become pregnant, I'm not even speaking to my divine partner. We're not even in contact. I haven't seen them. I don't know what's going on with them. This is where the trust and faith comes in, that it will happen, that the universe is working on that part. I haven't spoken to mine either, you know, so we're... We're all in the same boat, so to speak, like we got here in. Um, yeah, well, actually, I've spoken to mine. He hasn't responded. I was told, God told me to tell him uh, first the message that I repeated the other day somewhat. I didn't, And then another message about his hair that the reason he'd been guided to cut it off, you know, was through dark magic so that he could be weakened. You know, he was supposed to be like, he was like Samson, that he had strength in his hair. So when he cut it, he was weakened. And, you know, probably the same thing with mine. But as I was telling it, I'm like, oh, maybe this message is for me too. Um, so that, and then yesterday Osiris told me to call him. So I did that too. He didn't answer. I left a message. But that's the only context. So, again, as I always say, you know, we're all the same. <laughs> we're all the same. And I am, you know, going through the same things that you guys are. And I think that that's for a reason. You know, all these things are timed, divine timed. And since they're messing with my camera and stuff, um, I should probably stop this here rather than going to the topic of cancer or anything now and come back with that so i'll be back guys namaste angels <sighs> i'm back only for a second i had taken the opportunity to jump in the shower and he's like you got to go back you got to go back okay so he's telling me for anyone who might be saying like you know we're not really the same like you can do xyz and i can't for he's saying first of all you can maybe not everything but you have gifts you just haven't perhaps manifested them yet. Or if you have, if you haven't perfected them yet, but you have them. So you can and you will, or you will and you can. Secondly, to that end, he's saying, with regard to me, Mariama, 
does he talk to me because I believe or do I believe because he talks to me? He wants me to say that to you. That he will talk to you too. When you're following the path completely. When you know that the key to abundance is acknowledging that you already have all these things. You just sometimes, in some cases, haven't manifested them yet. And that goes for everything. Everything that you could possibly need or want, you have it already. You just haven't manifested it. He wants me to say that. And he wanted me to say, oh, he wanted me to say that he has me tell you all these things about me because you're, you likely will have encountered a similar situation, a similar person, sometimes even by the same names, you know, as the people in my life, Joseph, Anthony, Mark, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, G, <laughs> you probably know a G, a Mike. Everybody knows a Mike. Um, so that's why. And you probably have somebody who's who has tried to become you. And I guess this goes for the masculine and feminine because I'm not being told of any one in particular. So either and or and or. I mean, I had been asked right down to what soap do I wash my vagina with? You know, which is a natural one, by the way, a handmade natural one. I don't make it. I order it from a I'll have to look up the place for you guys in case you want to get some too. Um, yeah, but it's, it's 100% natural. And then I put on raw coconut oil, sometimes other oils, olive oil, vitamin E liquid, 20,000, um, what are those things called? I use, I think. I put on stuff like that. Everything is natural. Is that it, God? Did I remember everything? I think so. I think he's going to let me go and put on my coconut oil now. I have on my towel. I jumped out of the shower. This is how literal I am, I am when I say I do what I'm told and sort of like when I'm told. I jumped out of the shower, put on my towel, and came and sat here. I'm still dripping wet. So I think he's going to go let me dry off and put on my coconut oil now. Okay, so I will be back. <laughs> Namaste, angels. I forgot, like, the most important thing. He's saying from this moment on, all dark energy across all existence, all time, all space, all dimensions, in all aspects, is banned from this channel. I guess he used them to the extent that he wanted to already. They're no longer welcome here, not even to aid the light. He's sending out a rallying call, a Harambe like the, like the gorilla, to all of his children of the light. The dark people will leave this channel and the beings of light will join. He's saying that's how the, that's one of the ways this goes down in the DM. My DM, my email, my inbox, my PayPal, people will begin to tithe. It will go down in the DM, like I'll be, it'll be lit. I'll be popping off. That's my abundance and then you will get your abundance back. That's how abundance works, that's how law of, law of attraction works. The exchange, the exchange of energy. Okay, I think that's it. So yes, all dark energy matter is banned from this moment on, from this channel, throughout all time, space, dimension, consciousness, in all aspects. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it is said and it is done. Amen. Whew. Ooh, okay. 
That took a lot out of me. All right. Now I'm really going to dry off. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Namaste, angels. I'll be back. Nope. I was wrong again. I'm back again. He's saying to use Tom's toothpaste, um, natural toothpaste. And if that's not important, I mean, uh, not available or too expensive, um, perhaps even better and certainly not expensive is baking soda and peroxide. Use that. He said no more of these toothpaste from these like large corporations. Tom's as in Thomas, as in twin as in Thomas and Enoch, as in Metatron, Sandalphon, Archangels. Okay. <laughs> okay, and I feel a lot better, so I think I'm really allowed to go this time. I, I feel a lot lighter. Okay. Namaste, Angels.